Um, as you can see from that intro, we're not in our usual location, or I'm not in my usual location. Um, I'm slap bang in um, Shinzuku in Tokyo, Tokyo City. So yeah, just decided the opportunity came up to, to come across, um, and just decided to go for it. Mad, mad in the head, but um, yeah, it was a sort of bucket list. If I don't do it now, I'll never do it. Um, and him and had and then once I did book it I was like oh, if I've done the right thing or not but yeah I'm here um, long long flight from from home but um, yeah we're here uh, for well I'm here solo trip for three full days five all together but obviously two um, traveling so just got here today um, it's very quiet going through the the city at the moment what's um, I think things don't kick off the shops don't open and stuff till maybe half 10 or 11 but I think things will just come alive at night time um, from what I see and what I've heard so yeah um, I've tried to pack as light as possible um, but uh, 24 to 70 uh, with me which is on at the moment but telephoto lens um, see if I can get a few telephoto shots maybe during the day rather than night because it only, only goes down to about 6-3 Six five, depending on what focal length you're shooting at, um, and also rented um, the Sony G Master 50mm Prime 1.2 lens um, from the good guys at Lens Pimp. Um, you check them out; they were very reasonable and very quick shipping. Um, some companies I looked at; they were like an extortionate amount of deposit. Where these guys, they didn't take a deposit. Um, check you out, obviously, um, and yeah, it was very reasonable, and the lens came on time. 100% so we're looking forward to getting out and using it I'm um, also probably compare um, the G Master 50mm Prime with the 50mm on the 24 to 70 just for sharpness um, I know obviously it's the 2.8 is the lowest um, I can go on the, the Sigma but um, just to see sharpness wise as well because the, the 50mm 1.2 it's very expensive it's a lot of money it's around about two two thousand pounds i think um so just to see what the noticeable difference is you know if it's a lot of money to outlay if you can't see much of a difference between you know 50 mil on a zoom lens or 50 mil uh prime um so yeah looking forward to using it um i haven't i don't really use primes i like the, the versatility of the, the zoom uh lenses you know you can go wide or or go in that sort of telephoto end 70 mil so yeah it'll be interesting it'll probably take me a while to get used to it i'd say um the last 50 mil prime we used was a canon 1.8 uh, little plastic small lens that was years and years ago so yeah looking forward to getting getting it on uh 1.2 so i can keep the so relatively relatively low um and hopefully keep the shutter speeds up um quite high from shooting moving subjects um so um, I know it's going to be overwhelming when we get out there um, on the streets at night. It'll be crazy. So um, I've tried to make a bit of a list, um, a notebook somewhere, wherever it is in this room, um, just of things like a checklist of, of what I want to actually take. So um, yeah, you know, obviously neon lights, um, taxis. So the old taxis around here are quite cool. They're um, I'm not sure if they're old BMWs or. or um, Mercedes, but they they are class looking, uh, especially across the uh, the zebra crossings and obviously with the the lights and whatnot. Um, obviously, people um, there's a lot of what they call salary men, guys in just suits, you know, obviously working all day and then out at night. So um, get a few shots of those. Uh, bonus points for any cats I can find uh, at night, just in alleyways or whatever. Um, and yeah, just general street photography just see what I can get. I mean, I have a couple of districts I want to go to, so I'm currently staying in Shinzuku, uh, Kabuchiko, I think it's what it's, well, whether I'm saying it right, I guarantee I'm not, but that's that's the region I'm staying at the moment, so it's quite lively at night apparently, so um, that's first first day, first night, second day, uh, uh, we'll probably go down to Shibuya, uh, or Shibuya, whatever, um, the largest cross and scramble cross in the world so it's going to be hectic as well but i want to be there sort of in the afternoon evening time um because i think obviously you're going for the night and the lights and all the rest of it but i'll hopefully get a few um shots and a few walk around shots um just during the day as well for the different districts but um 
yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, I can get decent images. I mean, like coming the whole way out here, not getting them. I don't want to even think about. It, but uh, yeah, hopefully, just try and relax. Um, it will be intimidating. Um, I would say just with all the lights and noise and, and everything going around. But just hopefully get into the, get into a rhythm. Um, and just try and relax and, and hopefully the shots will come naturally so yeah about to head out in the street now um and then hopefully later on out at night time so yep follow along and we'll see how we get on also don't forget to like and subscribe and all that crack This 50 mil train, just the one book I like, but point two, what do you want? Pretty clear, yeah. It's pretty clear, whatever that is. Found Sadie for sure.
a narcissist? Somebody walks past and says I'm not a narcissist, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's so much here, it's crazy. Um, we'll have to just pick a spot and wait, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's trying to get 50 mil staff and take look. I mean, the light around here is crazy, but ISO 320, always 1.2 help, but yeah, you don't have to worry about noise. There's a fine line trying to get the photograph and not to be creepy. <laughs> Frame it right, but it's 15 out here. Let me try to get this red and then the stop sign. Ha <laughs> 
So yeah, apologies for some of that shaky footage um, and the quality of it as well. This little rascal here, um, it didn't hold up too well with uh, the heat and the humidity. I think it's with uh, my body heat as well. It just kept changing settings all the time. Um, and again, some of the footage, it's changed to like 1080p from 4K30. It's changed to like slow-mo mode. It changed so many um, settings just on its own. So I don't know if it was just the heat Although I do have the heat dissipating case on it, so you thought that would have made a bit of a difference. Um, so yeah, that, that's the second time that's happened. Um, it happened in Corfu as well, which again, um, it was a hot country. It was about 30, 30 degrees um, out during the day, so it could be just that. But I will have to keep an eye on it, because if it does keep happening, I'm going to have to look at an alternative. Because it's, yeah, some of the footage are hard to zoom in 200%. Um, so it's dropped the quality way down, which is disappointing, especially somewhere you, you know we can't just go out and reshoot it, um, you know. But yeah, apologies for the the footage. Hopefully that's only the the part one. Hopefully the the next parts will not be too bad. I haven't got through everything yet uh, because there's so much. But um, fingers crossed it hasn't changed too much because I did notice it while it was out on shoot. So um, hopefully I got the rest of it in time. But yeah, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the footage and. We'll get back into it.
Fresh it out. <laughs> Nine percent. I love to get the up over here, so let's have a taste and see what it's all about. Yeah, I love their drink around here. Just like being home in Belfast. 